She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Final Fantasy 7 The remake We continue on This is part 4 Of this channel I also celebrate my 5 years That is coming Not 5 years This is 7 years 7 long years Of being In Tris I want to celebrate this on my birthday I hope y'all guys are watching I love y'all guys. Thank you for all your support. And also, you hit my hit them hit that bio. You go to my bio. Go to subscribe and follow all my links if you can. And let's get into it. Oh yeah, I had to make sure it's on too. So we had the uh, set to five slums. So funny, I call this dude Carmen. Carmen, you know the weapon Carmen. Like you can tell he got that Carmen energy. Like he just cool and collect. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me, or you? Don't know. Don't care. Then let's stick to the back streets. Ah. Back streets. There will be monsters. Okay. Shit. Better than Shinra. We all care about every monsters. They can get the smoke. Oh. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to hang up. Yeah. Come on! See ya. See ya. Come on. That's that. Enough. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Hmm. Yeah. You better watch out then, Cloud. <laughs> Go 
Let's do it right. Oh, ice! Attack. Oh, see ya. <laughs> yeah, I kind of missed that blizzard attack. Huh. They should go this way. That way is a dead end. They were doing some construction, but quit halfway. Okay. Over here. That didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this path around loops around too, so... Hmm, wonder if we can move... Because they went for the stronger prey. Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Nah. Me? I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I would take that offer. I like a strong woman. No. 
not bad. Hit him with Terry Wow. Go over here. Somebody live here? I didn't know why not. Nah. Machine too at that. It's awake. You don't wish you kept sleeping. <laughs> Let's do it right. That was it? That's all you, you, you offer? I feel like he could just jump. He should just jump. But you know, that's just me. Um, can you get a from over there? Oh shit. Oh girl, my bad girl, my bad. Nice work. Way to think ahead. <laughs> I am a genius. In my field of expertise. Yes, we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Ah. Yeah, look at all these jumps. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Oh. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. Just wanna go to bed. Hey guys, so how you doing? This means another war's coming. The Sector Five slums are right there. 
What are they watching? Uh, hey! Oh, shit, that bridge! My lights have been on the fritz ever since that mm -hmm. I made a first roll of Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he's been involved. What could they possibly be trying to accomplish? I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu-Tai, isn't it obvious? There's obvious? still a lot of smoke no, rising from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to While break the ceasefire. While fallen beams and other debris continue to hinder rescue efforts, the fires appear to, to have been another another mostly war. extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, oh, we get over there. or something? Uh, that's the director of Shinra's yeah. Advanced Weaponry Division, isn't it? Hey, enough of that doom and gloom. But would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? What kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Yeah, she can kick me in the time. God okay, damn. Time up. Shit, fuck that shit. I would get shit. Oh, go with tree those titties. I mean, that was the boozums. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, what timing. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Aerith! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. What's up, Oats? How you doing? See you there. Two peas in a pod. Uh, Aaron! So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently. But they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> yeah, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yep. Here's the leaf house. So I can read a ton of books. There you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. The Don't house mother. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. So, are you a friend of Aerith's? 
So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm. <laughs> what? Uh. Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, to, anyway... To a girl. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. Okay. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> God damn. Hey, my house is this way. Look at all this scenery. It's beautiful. Come on. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh. Hi. Hello. Take good care of her. That's my job. Or was my job. Yep. Thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll grab the basket. Be right back. That Aerith, she's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Uh, it's okay. Mm. Aerith won't be long. Uh, the... That's weird. Could have sworn I put them here. Yeah, this air house is nice. Hun house is so fucking her house is so beautiful. Whoa. Huh. Take this one. Huh? Uh, Take it. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> right. Off we go. <sighs> the things you do for people. <laughs> And these right here are my babies. Hmm. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Yeah. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Series of five of these. Okay. Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? Oh. Hey, that could be true. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? That's the one I gave you. Huh. It is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. No need to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Uh, sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, the songs are so relaxed, but I, I literally just feel relaxed. Even my hair smoke a little bit of my my good medicine. Like the song is so lesson in this game. Like if you never played Final Fantasy before, I don't know what to tell you. I love to study. If you learn your ABCs, you can read any book. That is true. That is definitely true. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Okay. discounts. Later. Well, Shinra's not gonna take his line. Cloud, I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research.
Pacers with the OV. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. Might be a challenge. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Oh. Most techniques. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Fofo. Black materia. Ooh. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. See why Chabe. Oh, let's go. See we got That was unfortunate, but remember, your limitations are only in your mind. Let's try again. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. I always like Satana music. You know, um, that. Uh, Y'all know the songs how about I think you got Oh, 
Oh yes, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yes. Call it fire. This again. No Fire style. I'm also close. Was there a problem? I know the system is functioning properly. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel. I know I could get her. Oh, if we were here. I know I could get her. I just didn't get like. Do I need new weapons or something? So, what'll it be? gather vital information for my research. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. And what with the bitching? Yeah. <laughs> 
I think I need airy for What a shame. It was a close match. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Sudden here. About to eat there. Bet you didn't know that the smell of flowers helped nourish your heart. Please go big and young. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Hi, <laughs> Ares.
see if you can come up to the... First user. Continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Burn. Come on! 
That's all I have, y'all. Seven. <laughs> Let's switch it up. I'll show you what I can do. Take over for me. Yeah. Oh, I got something to just have fun. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Says, What's the ball? Right Hello, green, green. Standing. The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. Okay. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. Come on. I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Oats! You're back! Eric's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. 
I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry. <gasps> they ran off this way. Be careful. <sighs> Where do you think they went? Find me a mega portion. That is so nice. Ah, oh, there they are. And they're not alone. And they're not alone. Alright. Guess I got them. I think 
Got to, he see he they see it's good to have some J's. That was cool. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's head back. Yeah! <laughs> 
start. One more shot. So cool. How did you get to be so strong? Well, you see, Cloud here used to be a soldier. He was? That too. Did you fight in the war? I might have. That too also, remember, remember, eat vitamins, eat, can't take pain of juice, and clap more cheeks. That's how you get stronger. You don't believe me? As usual, Hama. That's how he gets stronger, by clapping some cheeks. I'm got this. Don't you know oh. you've got this? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna grow up to be a soldier. Moving on, then. You. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Oh, Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. You went like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was cool. All wrong. Yeah, that's white kids. That is white. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! Fast man, no jutsu. Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's oh. someone special. It's not like that. More like... Um, I don't know how to explain. I see. Well, he doesn't see me. Be quiet. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, I have my glasses. Since you're so cool, you guys are both oh, grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You I can come and play here whenever you want. Thanks for helping our friends. Thanks for helping our friends. I'm keeping an eye out for monsters. So we just with some ass and say some kids. I'm keeping an eye out for monsters. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. What the? Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. Uh oh. The reunion. Sakawa. You don't 
know who Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. Uh... But I've got a feeling he's still alive. That's in my ass. Oh, that is a cover story. Right. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Then you must be from the legendary. The legendary. Uh. What was the next line again? My dad told me that that man, he used to be a soldier when he was younger. Okay. Hey, Cloud. I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Mm. Oh my! Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mm. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I opened a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But they'll need to buy a membership first. A membership? Okay. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Well, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. Yeah. Alright. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, mm -hmm. I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Welcome, Koopa. Let me see. Silver Star. Peace. You guys are great! Thanks to you, I've got a ton of medals, Koopa. Which means I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for you. Ooh. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it? Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Alright. Good luck to you, too. Gather vital uh, information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel support. You won't stop telling us stories during Walmart, react. Oh, yeah? Then what's with the bitching? 
Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he found the team. There's nothing you can't get your hands on in this town. Materia, scrap, you name it. Material. Proceeds goes to the leaf house. See ya. Well, hey there. What you need to stay safe? Wonderful, isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Oh. oh. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? Mm -hmm. You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Cloud, 
Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! My very first Undercity night out. Somebody help me! Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing... I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they... Be careful, they look dangerous. Sure hope not. Um... Oh, I see the fire boss. I see the... Bring it. <laughs> Try to stay behind me. That way, I can cover your back. Enough. Get him. And we're safe. Turning back. I got your number. Oh, when? Here goes. This is gonna hurt. You've got this. I got you.
Taken over. I've got this. Don't you mean we need that? Is that what I need to That'll do. <laughs> Get him! That's that.
Yeah, they are on the side. Come on. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor. And figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for him. Getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now, hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? You scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. 
You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. That's a lesson for life on the ground. See you soon. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think yeah. we did. There's also a chance of rain in some areas. people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Molly's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. I can't believe... The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. You guys, the Toad King's back! I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout. Then that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain! The Toad King wants to take over our hideout. He's mean and angry and smells bad really too, like so be careful. Lessons, and she's really nice, but she's also kind of scary when she's angry. Hey, Lona, how you doing? 
Shit, hope you're having a good night. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you can. Alright. Where is Tolkien at? Uh, so this is it, Oh, I got a favor to you. Let me see. How about wing material? Get back. I can fight too. <laughs> Nothing to it. I try to stay behind. That way, I can cover your back. Shatter. You're done. Punch through. Right, we gotta hurry. Call 
That was good. Dun, 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 Did you defeat the Toad King? No, yep. yeah. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here. This is for you. No, the treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss You're Folia. Welcome. You must know all their secrets. Oh. If only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. She's doing a good job. He taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. Biggs. Oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the key. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Cause I command a very good salary.
talking to officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation. The Everything was not going to the mm. <laughs> Punch through. Right, we gotta hurry. <laughs> On you. Uh, I can't believe you. Black, can you handle them? Let's do this. I'll, I'll 
do what I can. Bundle up! Huh. Gotta go for it now. <sighs> Sorry, but you handle it. Say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. Furthermore, initial Not reports confirm that terrorists that were coordinating their efforts with Wu Tai. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. Hmm. Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damn key and give it to the boy. Uh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? Money. That's all you kids think about. Not a whit of generosity or... S I may as well keep working till the day I die. Maybe it's not too late for kids to learn that life's about more than just... You're a real dick, you know that? But on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. That's the reason I did it. Heard you've taken out your fair share of monsters. Take care of my equipment, you hear? One more, that should be done. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center. 
and I heard he was looking for some help. Okay. Good to see you, Koopa. the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Okay. Check your fries. Oh, okay. Pretty fun. You crushed it. See, pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Okay. Wanna play some whack a box? Oh, I got come back when you want to smash stuff. Anything you like? Hmm. Come back soon, Koopa. Uh, you would 
didn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. Yeah. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the <coughs> On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the merc of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Okay. I thought we put those days of war and What's death that? behind us. Guardian angel but of the slums? Come to think on. of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? <laughs> Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. To folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. That makes sense. What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marae. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. Check out here. Okay, that's big. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Oh, could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway... It so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Mireille at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal yeah, to hold right, up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. 
about a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about Ooh. you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Did you know? Yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. Do now. Oh, I'm almost here. Well, well, this is good. Don't overdo it. Here goes. That's it. You'll see. Yeah! Get him! 
You can do it. My turn. Calling lightning.
One more shot! <sighs> Get him! <laughs> Hang back. <laughs> what? Wait, seriously? You'll feel better in a second. <laughs> Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Oh man, that was a good that was a good one. I have his head for fun. I thought I was never gonna make it. one of her calling cards this is the genuine article I'm sure of it pinned by the angel herself hmm. so this is one of her famous warnings it's an incredible find oh was that all hold on looks like there's something else a message to the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? Why? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. You know what? I beat the Zodiac.